Hello everybody, this is Heath Robinson with Topaz Labs. Today I'm excited to walk you through one of the latest features in Topaz Studio, which is our new healing tool. The healing tool is uh, available in Topaz Studio as of version 1.0.6, and it's our most highly requested Topaz Studio feature. It's also available to all users of Topaz Studio absolutely free. You don't have to buy the Pro Pack in order to use the healing tool, it's just another feature that we wanted to add to the application uh, to make it even more useful for people who don't want Photoshop or Lightroom. If you've used Photoshop or Lightroom before, you're probably familiar with healing. Uh, if you're not familiar with healing, uh, what a healing brush does is it allows for intelligent removal of blemishes, distracting secondary subjects, or background cleanup of your image. So um, a great example for that would be blemishes. So we're going to go right here into the Topaz Studio interface and get started. Here we have a portrait of one of my family members. I've had this photo laying around for a long time. Never really did anything with it, but I figured it's a good opportunity to show some of the blemish removal tools in Topaz Studio. First off, I want to kind of clean up my workspace so I have a little bit more room to work. So I'm going to go ahead and close the effect panel. And since I know I'm working on this photo, I'm going to go ahead and close the image browser as well. That gives me a whole big workspace to work with. So I'll zoom in and then scan over. And you can see there's some blemishes here, uh, here, the freckle right here. Um, there's some other stuff right here. There's a freckle, an out of place hair. Uh, we're going to use the healing tool to get that all cleaned up. So in order to find the healing tool, you'll go over here to the toolbar and see that healing tool right here. All you need to do to turn it on is click it. And it's uh, pretty easy to use. All there is is one slider. You just control your brush size. And as you move the brush smaller or larger, you will see that brush size change. I'm doing skin blemishes, so I'm going to make it relatively small. Cool. And then you just start painting. It's really easy to remove blemishes with just a click and gone, just like that. So all we're going to do is kind of go around here and click and paint out some of these blemishes. Click there, right here. And we'll go ahead and go up and get rid of that, get rid of this, that. Uh, what else we got? Uh, I don't mind those freckles. Let's see. Bring that up a little bit. Bring that up a little bit. Uh, and then even for larger areas, you can kind of paint over it and let it go. Tools like Photoshop, what they'll do if you paint an area, uh, you can consider that area like a black hole, and it, the system doesn't know what's inside of it. So it will look and analyze your image and find the patch or uh, the area that's closest to that and use that to sub in the missing, the missing pixels. So if I was to paint out, say, this part of the cheek, it's going to look and try and find an area on the skin that was similar to what's around this patch that I made and then fill it in with that, that content. So the way that the healing tool works in Topaz Studio is what's called statistic measure. What that means is that we analyze the entire image and we don't just find one patch. We compare dozens of different patches and try to fill in that area that isn't known by comparing all of those patches and finding the most reasonable result on a per pixel level. So instead of just finding one patch for this area, what we're doing in Topaz Studio is if I was to paint out this cheek again, it's not just trying to find something that looks similar to the edges um, of my little red selected area. It's comparing up dozens of different areas of the image that could fit and finds the best fit for each pixel within that area. That does take a little bit longer to process, but the result we think is a lot more natural and a lot more realistic. Cool. And that's about all I'm going to do right here. It's really easy to do blemish removal. If you want to see the before and after, uh, with the healing brush, you just need to make sure that you have the healing tool selected. And then you can hit your space bar, just like before. So this is the before. You can see blemishes here, here, here. And this is after. They are completely gone. All right, so moving on, I'm going to go on to this next image. In order to do that, click Done here. I'm going to go ahead and open back up my image browser here so I can move on to another image. Um, here I have this image that I took of my yard. Close my image browser again. Uh, it's pretty nice, you know, these geese are nice. I don't really like geese, they're kind of jerks, but uh, they do make for a pretty photo. Um, but you can see there's a lot of distracting things. There's this other uh, baby goose right here, some feathers on the ground, uh, some dirt sticking out. Uh, this is, areas like this is where the healing tool will really shine. So uh, we'll go up here and select our healing tool. And then I like that brush size, that's perfectly fine. I'm going to go ahead and click here, remove that feather. Click here to remove that feather. And then in order to get this guy out, I'm just going to go ahead and paint him all out. 
And there we go. You can see that took a little bit of doing, but you got a really nice natural result. It even works for larger areas like this ground that we see right here. I'm going to go ahead and take my brush size up a little bit. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit. I'll come over here to this dirt. I'm just going to go ahead and paint this out. All right, you can see it did a really good job of getting rid of that dirt. We're going to go over here and try this. I'll take my brush down just a bit. It did a pretty good job, so I'm going to go ahead and paint this out right here. See what we can get. All right. I also have some distracting image details up here. I don't really like this orange thing that I'm seeing up here. I'll get rid of that. I don't really like this pillar. I'll try and get rid of that and see what happens. Cool. I don't like these orange spots down here. Get rid of those. Don't like that spot. Get rid of that. Don't really like that deal right there. As a matter of fact, I don't like this pillar. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that pillar. Go ahead and get rid of this pillar right here. And uh, well, since I'm at it, I'm gonna see if I can delete this one right here. So I'll get rid of all that. And then just paint this sucker out right there. Not bad. Give it one more try to go back over it. Just a little better. All right. So now you can see I've cleaned up my geese image a little bit. And we can see our before and after here. Before I had these little geese, dirt, all this, distracting feathers, some stuff in the background that was drawing my eye. Now I've been able to clean it up and uh, make it where it's just those geese and they're definitely not tearing up my front yard. And that's the healing tool. It's really that simple to use. You can check it out as of Topaz Studio version 1.0.6. Um, as of this video, we're already on 1.0.7, so if you haven't updated, be sure to go to the downloads page, update to the latest version of Topaz Studio, and uh, we really hope you enjoy. Thanks so much for watching.